What's up YouTube, this is Shadow Boy and I'm back with yet another video. Today's video, we got some official information on the new Golfwang hiking shoe coming out. So let's get right into it, guys. All right, so like I said, we have had some official images, official release info, and a bunch of new details on the Golfwang hiking shoe, or what we can now call the Golf of Floor Hiker, or what we did end up finding out to get into details here is this model I believe is called what I have been reading is the Converse Giano Ox. I believe that was what the name was. I read that somewhere. I can't remember where, um, but that also has some questions which we'll get into later in this video. Um, but yeah, pretty exciting. These shoes are going to release November 11th for $120. Um, so as far as my predictions were, um, I was wrong about the date a while ago. I thought these were going to release but um, I was right about the price so that's pretty cool I don't really care if I was right or not but um, that's good that it is $120 I think anything above $120 would have been way too much um, but if we look at these images here I'll have them posted up in the corner here and I'm really liking what I'm seeing it does look like we're going to get three colorways coming out on November 11th uh, this brownish one with oranges and purples then we have like the monotone like off-white colorway and then we have this lighter colorway with like a hint of green on it um i believe all three of these are going to come out because we've seen official images of the like brownish orange one and the tan one and then tyler posted a picture saying november 11th with the pair that has a hint of green on it uh, so i mean that all leads to believe that these all three of them are going to be releasing one quick thing i wanted to say before <laughs> we get on with this is i realized when i started putting this video together that uh the monotone i'm referring to and then that lighter one with a hint of green on the side i believe is the same shoe this picture that tyler's holding the shoe and then this official image uh, uh, they look to be very similar now. I think it's the same shoe. I don't know what happened to that all tannish pair uh, that we saw before. I feel like that's still the shoe. Um, I'm really confused now. I'm pretty sure though that this is the same shoe. So uh, sorry ahead of time that this uh, is the same shoe. There is no monotone and then a pair with a hint of green. I think it's just this pair with a hint of green uh, that looks to be monotone in some lights. Uh, so that's really weird to me. Um, I don't know how I feel about that to be honest though, but um, it's still cool nonetheless. All in all, I'm really excited for these. Um, personally, I think if I'm going to rank the colorways, I think I'm going to go with definitely the brownish or orangish pair first. Uh, then second, it's gonna be hard. I think these other two pairs, they're very similar first off, but they're pretty neck and neck. It really depends on the situation, how you're gonna wear them, what clothes you have, so how you can match them. Uh, so I can see how the uh, all tan pair could be the pair for a lot of people. Um, personally, I think my second favorite pair is that pair with the hint of green, uh, just because it has a little bit more going on with it. At first, I was not liking the monotone look, but I'm slowly uh, getting used to it and liking it. Um, so definitely, if you like any of these pairs, I think it's definitely gonna be worth the $120. Uh, when we see these official images here, the materials seem to be on point. Uh, I'm sure they're not the most utmost quality, like designer quality or anything like that. Um, but it does look to be durable, which is the big thing for me. Uh, I have been saying since we initially saw leaks of these shoes uh, way back when, that I would really like these just because living in the Midwest, um, rugged weather, um, I need, a cool looking shoe is always really cool to have that is really durable that can be um, thrown in the elements and just get beat up so i'm really excited for these i will end up trying to pick a pair up of these and i'm probably going to beat them to the ground when it comes to winter time uh, because the traction on these looks to be very durable and just on point uh, so i'm really excited for that and I'm not a huge chunky shoe guy. That's not seriously like my thing, um, but it's something that looks to be fun. I really like how it's not just a slim down Chuck Taylor or the one star style. Uh, I like that it's totally in a different lane. I think that's really cool. Um, as far as design, I think the paneling looks really sweet. Uh, we can see some little design cues that are changed, such as it used to say Golf of Fleur, I believe, uh, on the toe of like that mud guard kind of thing on the side. And that's gone now. So I think that was a good move, honestly, because it just felt a little bit like too much. Um, but uh, one thing I did want to note is, like I said, I have read some things that say that this 
this Converse model is called like the Giano Ox. I think the silhouette is a new Converse model um, that Converse decided to come out with that probably is for the winter time. And they probably wanted Tyler to push it with a Golf Lafleur version having his Golf Lafleur branding on it. Um, so that's just something to note, I would say. Um, I, I'm not saying that's necessarily a bad or a good thing. Um, but just don't think when you're going into buying these that he designed every aspect of this sneaker because it looks to be obviously he wouldn't be naming the shoe the Giano at least I highly doubt he would um, so um, this is definitely a sneaker designed by somebody else but he designed the colorway so just keep that in mind when you're buying it just buyer beware I feel like um, because I think the marketing on some of these things can be a little confusing obviously uh, all in all I am really excited for these I'm definitely going to try and cop a pair hopefully of the brownish orange pair i think a lot of people are wanting to get the uh, monotone one but that's just what i've been hearing initially i don't really know if that's for sure um but yeah it's going to come out converse.com golf lafleur or golfwing.com and probably some other sites i don't know yet so don't ask me but it's probably going to come out at least it's definitely coming out converse and golfwing.com and it's probably going to be they'll announce the time at some date I, I don't know the exact time right now guys um but i will definitely let you guys know when i find out uh, the exact time and everything for that date um but um that's pretty much going to conclude the video guys uh i hope for the people out there that are going to camp vlog not this weekend here uh, i hope you guys have a great time i would love to go out but unfortunately living in the midwest and just being a person that is on a fixed income uh there I, that's not really an option for me but hopefully one year i hope to come and meet a bunch of you guys because i think that would be really fun but for those that are going i hope you guys have a great time definitely get a lot of golf out there i've seen a lot of new pieces there uh that baseball shirt i'm watching out for that if that hits the website i'm definitely copping that and yeah that's gonna conclude the video guys please hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video and please subscribe if you haven't already for more golf way more sneakers more clothing and more shuttle boy and this is shuttle boy guys and i'm out guys peace